it's Monday the 16th? Yes. The 16th? Yes. It is the week before Christmas. Yes. So we are very excited. Um, kind of slowed down this week as far as like not having a million and bajillion things to do. But we got some of the coolest pops of the year in this week. Yeah, we got a lot of cool pops in. Um, if you haven't come in yet and seen our new setup, uh, it was announced uh, late last week that we now have gift cards. So what a great stocking stuffer, a yes. Collector's Cave gift card. Um, they're really nice. I'm and they're really, refillable. They are refillable. Um, I actually had somebody buy one and it was actually for themselves. They're just going to use it for whenever they come in and purchase stuff. Um, because you get, you get signatures when you purchase the gift card. He wouldn't get signatures for the pops, but he's already gotten the signatures. It's going to put points up. It is absolutely. So, uh, if you if you or you know somebody who would love a collector's cave gift card, stop on down. Like I said, they make great stocking stuffers and they're refillable. And it's the gift that keeps it because even if there's something not here now, there'll be something exactly. Here. You they don't expire. The gift cards don't expire. So. That's really exciting. Because you never know when that cool pop's going to show up. Kind of like this week. Absolutely. Uh, so that's exciting. And, oh, and we have our Christmas tree. So for every $50 you spend here at the cave before tax, you get to pick an ornament um, off the tree. And just kind of like Popkin Patch, you get, um, you know, there's the gift certificates, golden ticket, free pops, deluxes, commons, um, mystery minis, all sorts of fun stuff on those. Yeah. Never know what you're going to pull. Never know, yeah. um, but it's free and if you're already coming here to spend money, why not? Yeah, do it anyhow. Yeah. So that's cool and exciting at the Collector's Cave. What else we have going on right now? Oh boy, I don't know, man. I'm still kind of in a funk. I mean, we're coming off Steel City Con. We're I'm just um, like I'm in a fog as far as like because now the cave has its own thing. Um, got a lot of great feedback. People really like having a register and um, somebody there to help them um, with questions. Uh, if you know, I've had a lot of people just ask me if we have something. Whereas before, if nobody was here, they would have to ask the cashier at the front who is primarily beer and what doesn't know the inventory so um, a lot of good feedback as far as having somebody here all the time to answer questions or um, just being present if you need help with something and guys we will pick a winner from last week's contest um, I have not had a chance to spin the wheel yet I will do that probably tomorrow night while I'm here for the winners slackers so surrounded by slackers but congratulations to those of you who guessed right. I, I'll be honest. Mm. What was the question? I forgot. What was the best-selling series of pops we had in Steel City Coin? Ah, uh, right, 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 right. And the answer for those that, that guessed and guessed wrong, it was the Office Pops, slightly. The Office Pops were first. Um, we completely sold out of Office yes, Pops. Yes, we did. City. Yes, we did. It was <clears throat> a, a good show. A good show, and April's turning out to be a good show. They just announced John Lovitz. How about that? That's so, kind of... That's I, exciting. I want to see his Q&A because he's a funny guy. I kind of wish they had a John Lovitz pop, whether it was like an SNL character or um, I I liked him in, I know he's not like known for this, but he was in A League of Their Own. Yeah. Like he was, <laughs> he was I thought he was funny in there. I, I think he's done so many of those be like, like perfect pop characters. For, for movies. Well, he had that cartoon, The Critic. Yeah. Wasn't that him? Mm -hmm. Like that, I'm shocked they don't have Pops of The Critic yet. God, I'm trying to even think who. Because he, he, he would have been one. He had a son, I want to say, on the show. Yeah. And a love interest yep. of some sort. So, like, there's three right there. Even if they just did him, the, just The Critic. Well, they're doing a lot of those one-off Pops right now. That's what I mean. Like, that That would be cool to see. It would be. I, I'd like to see... I mean, and who knows? Who knows what this year will bring? That's true. <laughs> Funko's mm -hmm. constantly announcing new stuff, so. New, new licenses, new, new stuff. New licenses. So. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Um, unfortunately, we can't share what we know, but I'm sure if you have Instagram or a Facebook, you've seen some of the things Funko has announced 
um, coming up in March and April. So we're really excited about those. A lot of stuff. A lot of, a lot of good stuff this year. And I can't wait till we can actually talk about them because it's things that I know I personally have been waiting for. Uh, specifically one in particular so I'm very excited to see how it comes out I'm I'm impressed we're getting another year of diverse licenses yes we're, we're getting we're getting some stuff that people want more of and we're getting some new stuff which yeah. is really cool yeah I agree <clears throat> which again we'll talk about that a little bit here in a minute because one of those obscure licenses <laughs> go ahead and start <laughs> <Yeah>. it <clears throat> so one of the things that came in this week and, and ironically enough they came in it with like one was like in the last week the other one was yeah one was week. uh thursday the other one was today the doom pops came in never seen it you you wouldn't have and you wouldn't sit through it it's just is it a sci-fi movie it is a sci-fi film yeah, it's actually based off a series of books um the, the movie so, so here's here's why you wouldn't like the movie the movie is one of those ones that it, it kind of has a cult following you either love it or you hate it Domestically, it wasn't a huge success. Mm. Um, there's several cuts of the movie out there. The best cut is the director's cut, which is excessively long. Oh. So, yeah, which you would have no well, interest in. I mean, at least they came <clears> out with pops. Um, but again, another Sting pop, because that's this is actually the rock musician Sting. Did not know that. Um, but it's kind of interesting to take these two characters first. Um, Paul is the the main protagonist. Um, and I really like this pop. They did a real good job with the detail. And I love the fact he has the blue eyes. Who who plays Paul? Oh god, I can't think what his name is. Uh -huh. This was an eighties movie. He did he did Dune and that, that was I mean We're gonna look. We're gonna we're gonna Google him. I mean if you know that guy's Sting, I need to know who Paul is. Well, I mean this was a big deal when Sting did this. Cause it was it was a big thing. Oh, they got Sting, it's uh, in case you didn't know, they're redoing Dune in 2020 with Zendaya. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. It'll be the fourth time they're redone Dune. Oh! Kyle McLachlan? You know who he is. It's the only thing he's ever done. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's Paul. Again, Dune's the only thing he's ever done that I care about. Oh, I was going to say, he <laughs> did, he's done Twin, pa Twin Peaks. He was in La La Land, The Outsiders. <laughs> Uh, Sex in the City is where I remember him. See, for me, none of that. I mean, Twin Peaks would be the closest thing, and I really never got into Twin Peaks. But I'm gonna take Paul off, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show them off a little bit. Did oh, you... I loved him in Portlandia. You clearly can see. I mean, the detail work that went into that. Desperate Housewives. He's been in a lot, Ed. And and. I never watched that Desperate Housewives, so you're missing out. I keep hearing that, and actually, this these are the second and third Doom Pops because they did a Fiat in New York. Oh yeah, then exclusive. Yep. So, so hopefully we'll get more Doom Pops. Um, see, for me, this was one of the first movies I saw Patrick Stewart was in this. Oh, from Star Trek. Yes. Gotcha. So, um. But, but Dune is, again, it, it's that's one of those obscure licenses. It's a, an 80s cult movie. I mean, it's like we got Killer Clowns from Outer Space in New York. Yeah. More of those obscure movies. Um, the pops are excessively cool. Um, so there are both of them here right now. Yes, we have both of them. Five so, of each. So if anybody's looking to get those, if you have that obscure sci-fi fan going, this is, to me, is a perfect gift. Uh, side note, even though it has nothing to do with Dune, we also got Duran Duran. We have two of them. Um, there's five or six of them. I didn't realize how many members were in Duran Duran. But we have two of the five or six. Um, I didn't pull them. Um, but they're here. But they're here, and maybe when we get the rest of them, we'll we'll put them all in one video. But. And it kind of fits. It's it's 80s theme. I, that's what Duran Duran, Dune, 80s. I just kind of felt like. Do you remember important. when this came out? I was probably eight or nine years old. So. Let's see it. Are you really? Yeah. Going to do this? I may not even have been born. Are we going to age myself here? Thanks. I felt. I feel like it. Hey, if people can see my wrinkles on the video. They can know how old you are. Dune. Oh my God, 1984. I was one. I was one. 
See? I feel better now. I was eight years old. I feel much better. I was only eight. I was one. <clears throat> Moving so, on. But the doom pops are out. So, so what do you want to do next? Just do this row because we'll do these four okay. at the bottom together. So the first of the Fantastic Four pops came in. Human Torch. The Human Torch came in. Which looks so cool. With the flames on the bottom. And I'm taking them out of the box because we have Ooh, to show the base yeah. off. And these are the classic comic fans. Yeah, these are four. this is this is classic. This isn't the Jessica Alba movie or anything like that. These are iconic Fantastic Four. I love this base. I love the flames. And it's so cool looking. And they gave him the comic style drawing, like mm -hmm. the sixties drawing on him, but the flames are just incredible he on him. He would sit nice on a shelf or on somebody's desk. I was on the fence about getting these. Because the, they're actually a lot cooler than. I look forward to seeing the rest of them because if, he, if that one looks cool, because um, they did a lot of the uh, villains like Doctor Doom and. Well, I mean that's one cool thing about these. We're getting the, like there's the original OG Doctor Doom that's out there. Yeah. It's in a more traditional Funko. But I'll be interested to see what these look like. Are they on the back? Yeah. Or, we're gonna get it the, with the new molding process because we're getting the Doctor Doom, right. Mole Man, a Silver Surfer, Super Scroll, Galactus, and all four members of Fantastic Four. And one for the people that watched, and and most of us aren't old enough to remember this, even even I'm not. Um, the old Fantastic Four cartoon show. That's where the robot Herbie came from. Oh, I didn't know that. So that so they've kind of in this set they've thrown something to everybody. It's kind of, okay, if you're a comic fan, here it is. And these are all characters you know. Mm -hmm. Which is really cool, but it's really nice that the, the, I mean, with the Human Torch coming in first and getting that look at him. There's only three left of him. <clears throat> I'm just letting you know. Okay. He's a hot commodity. Get it? Hot. hot. Human Torch. Hot. Sizzling. The, 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 the irony is dripping everywhere uh -huh. tonight. Ha, ha, ha. All right, then Iron Spider. An another pop that turned out to be really impressive. It's it's that semi-metallic. We didn't talk about him last week, did we? No, we did not. Okay. Or actually, we did. Did we? We did talk last week. I remember week. the eyes. Because we, we talked about the dual layered eyes. Okay. <clears throat> but we can talk about him again. We have him still. <laughs> I'll be honest. I bought, I'll be honest. Here you go. I bought one and took him out of the box. He's an incredible piece. With the clear base on him, he literally looks like he's floating through carrying the Infinity Gauntlet. So cool. And for those of you that have not seen Endgame yet, tough. If I spoiled it for you, oh well. It's going to be on Disney Plus at some point here. I think pretty soon. So, Star Wars. Rise of Skywalker. It is Star Wars week. It is Star Wars week. Uh, so, we got these in. Um... This is from the new series. They, I know it's hard to tell from the video, but these are all different. Um, there was six of them. We only have four left. They're different ones of Knights of Ren. So I'm assuming Kylo Ren has... These are the Knights of Ren that were referenced in the first of the new trilogy yeah. of movies. So we're actually going to see what the deal with these is. So let's see. Sky this, Sky this here. Blaster Rifle. War Club. And Arm Cannon. Um, what I like about these is they're a little metallic. They're not just yeah, all black. Yeah, they have a chrome look to them. Like a, I don't want to say patina, but they definitely have a, um, I don't know, I'm going to call it like aluminum, but. It's almost like a, it's almost like an aluminum dry wash over Yes, them. yeah. They give them that, that metallic look, which they, is really cool. They are so super cool looking again these are pops that i think like if you're a fan you're gonna get them but everyone's gonna see the movie this weekend yeah and go oh my god i have to have these. yeah so then you've got to run and get the commons then you've got to find all the exclusives yeah plus the funko shop one well luckily we have the funko shop one here too in the king of so we have the four and then the funko shop yep one here and then currently. we have two of this bad boy Kylo Ren 10 inch. It glows in the dark. 
we tested it, it with my phone. Um, it it's a phone, so it didn't like I, it's hard to show you. Um, but the lightsaber does glow, and the red on him glows. Um, the lightsaber looks really cool because it glows red. Um, again, I can't really. Sh it's hard to show on the video. We tried it just by trying to like light it with my phone, and it didn't come out well. No. Um, but we have two of these guys here left. Um, he's been really popular, and he's really cool looking. Well, he's gonna be the new Darth Vader. And he's a bobblehead. Yep. If you think about it. So, so we've got the electronic lightsaber, Darth Vader. Yep. We got, oh, and we got that a restock. We just got more of them today. So there's more of them. So there were people that were asking. They, he is here currently. Yes, I have six light up Darth Vaders left. We just got them in today. But next we're getting the Kylo Ren. Yes, Kylo Ren, Ren has one too. So it's it'll be, you know, this means ten inch Darth Vader's coming, right? Because oh, that. I mean, gonna, that would be so cool to see. It, it's 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 that. Well, especially if. If all the rumor mongering is true, and what happens to him is what happens to him, it, it will be a bit of a game changer. No spoilers, Ed. I just want to, and I don't want anything definitively. I just know what people talk about. No spoilers. Hey, I never. We never promised this was a spoiler-free show. That's fair. Uh, and then we have an Entertainment Earth exclusive that we got in. Um, Great Ape Goku from Entertainment Earth. Uh, Six-inch pop. So he's pretty cool looking. Um, he's a part of the most recent line with Nappa, Vegeta, Chi Chi. But he's an Entertainment Earth exclusive, so. Um. And he's a really cool pop. For as far as the six inches, again, I like that they're getting into more posing with the six inches and the yeah. regular pops. Yeah. No, um, he's definitely cool looking. Which which is very cool. Um, but for the Dragon Ball Z fans out there. Great ape Goku is here. Yeah, he would look nice displayed, but he came in too, so we have him. But I'm trying to think if there was something else. Oh, Black Mirror, Ashley too. Oh. Which I don't know anything about Black Mirror, but we have Ashley too. You would like Black Mirror. You should try Black Mirror at some point. It's on Netflix. Yeah, when I find time. I have to, I have a long list of things I have to watch, but there's but here's five the of them. But here's the thing about Black Mirror. You don't have to, because each episode is, is its own episode, and it's all different. It's like kind of like the Twilight Zone, where every episode is its own. So you don't have to watch them. You don't have to like watch them all at one time. You don't have to binge them. You literally can watch one episode and not watch another episode. That's weird that all... they would make pops then of it if it's like a different episode. Every... Are the characters the same? Or are they different No, they're characters? all different. But they pick out of some of the best episodes, they pick characters out of there. Oh, that's where it came from. that makes sense. Um, the the actually the first Black Mirror episode I've watched was the Bryce Dallas Howard one, and it's in the first season, which is really cool. Which might even be the first episode. Mm. Um, but it, it's really an interesting show, and it's a little different. Mm. But you don't have to. It's not a show like it's one of those. I got a half hour. Okay, I'm gonna watch some gotcha. Black Mirror. Interesting. I might have to look into that. Um, I'm trying to think if there was something else we got in that we just didn't show, but like we're actually getting normal shipments now where it's yeah. not like 90 billion pieces. Marvel 80th anniversary, we have the Wolverine, Deadpool, the Deadpool, Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, Black Widow. That's it for the 80th anniversary, right? Right now, for people that are asking or looking, I think so. Because again, as we get into is this will be a holiday week, week video to be posted tomorrow, which will be a week out from yeah. Christmas Eve, yeah give everybody an opportunity um and i'm gonna say we probably won't record the 23rd i would think not i mean it's a holiday week yeah we even we deserve a week off yeah so this will probably be the last video before christmas yeah so we won't record till post fun nights oh my so we'll have a lot to talk about then lots of good stuff so lots of good stuff <clears throat> which i'm really excited fun nights coming yeah and for those of you like who are following us on Instagram and, and uh, Facebook, we've been posting new Cave of Wonders restocks every day um, for about 11 days now. 12 days 12 now. Days, 12 days 12 days. So it's like, you know, that's on 12 days of Christmas. <clears throat> um, so it, that's been exciting. We haven't had a full Cave of Wonders in quite some time. Because do a restock and all of a sudden it, it's gone, which that's it, guys. If you guys see it on Instagram you got to get down here yep. or on Facebook because yep. it's, it's it's literally it's going on the shelf and somebody's walking in the door. Yep. It's kind of good stuff, right though. Absolutely. 
Lots different of interesting stuff. stuff. Oh, yeah, it, it, lots of different stuff. A lot of new things. Yeah. Like things we haven't either had in the cave before or... Haven't had in a year yeah. or so. I mean, it, it's really very interesting. It's, it's, very, it's a it's lot good, of fun. It's a good stuff. Lots of good mm-hmm. stuff. Um, oh, and we got more pop protectors, hard stacks. We've had a lot of people asking, especially at Steel City Con, we have hard stacks now. Um, they're in the cave. They're on the floor when you first walk in. Um, I will be refilling that as we sell them and until we don't have them anymore. Um, but I put 24 of them out today and I want to say we sold 15 of them already. Doesn't shock me. So, it, well, uh, again, we're, we're in a time of year. You're buying yeah. somebody a grill for Christmas. Yep. You want to wrap it in the stack. So probably tomorrow I'll be putting out another case or so. So yeah, it's exciting. I want to thank you guys that have stopped into the cave just in the few nights that I've worked recently. It's nice to meet people that I haven't met before and have a little conversation. I, I know, Jen, you're not big on conversation. I am so. I've <laughs> met a lot of nice people. <laughs> I just don't have anything really to talk about. Mm. So, unless you collect Harley Quinn, Maleficent, or How to Train Your Dragon, I'm a little uh, lost in other conversations. Or, or start talking about Catwoman now. Well, Ed! What? You can't say it. Why can't I say Catwoman? Because people don't know that that's coming out next year. I wasn't talking specifically about that. There's been other ones. How many Catwoman statues do you have now? Uh, Exactly. That's, yeah. Anyway. But, I mean, it's it's really been an interesting month. Yeah. Lots of good things happening and more to come. We're excited. January's coming and... New things. New new rules. New, new... New surprises, new, new, just new stuff. New we just stuff. like new stuff. Keep it fresh. Well, it, it, change is good. Change is good. Change is definitely good. All right, guys. Just, well, if we don't get to see you, um, you know, come stop in. Wish we wish you all a happy holiday. However, you plan on spending it. Um, we are open Christmas Day, so if you are going to see family, we're here Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Christmas Eve normal hours. Christmas Day, 10 to 5. So if you're on your way to see family or friends and want to stop in for a gift, uh, we'll be here. And uh, Ed works Christmas Eve night. I'll be here Christmas Day. So stop in and say hi. And, you know, we'll wish you a happy holiday. Absolutely. Have a nice Christmas, guys. We'll talk to you before New Year. Yes. All right. Thanks. Have a nice one. Bye.